guys I'm glad you're all here thank you very much for joining me please thumbs up my videos and make sure you're still subscribed a asteroid that was only discovered on the 21st of this month January today is uh, January 25th 2023 um, may impact our earth NASA is saying that it is about 84 feet across and is a stony asteroid. It's going to be uh, below where our lowest uh, satellites are flying. So that would probably be an area where Starlink satellites are at. The gravity of the Earth very well could pull it in for an impact. And the question comes up, what type of damage would this asteroid do? It's called 2023 BU, and it's flying at a speed of about 5,359 kilometers per hour. You have to remember, too, the majority of the Earth is water, so the impact to a populated area is slim. It could burn up as it goes through our Earth's atmosphere, or it could pass over the Earth without doing any harm to our planet. So going to Neil Fun slash Asteroid Launcher, I thought I would do a scenario if it hit Washington, uh, D.C. I set it for an iron asteroid. I, yeah, I don't know if it's iron or if it's, um, a stone asteroid, but let's just do, um, iron asteroid 90 feet across going at 5,000 miles an hour. It's actually going faster. Maybe I can change that. So I put it at 6,000 miles an hour because it's traveling faster than that. And impact angle at about 45 degrees. Let me pull this over and then we'll launch the asteroid. And we'll put it here. So it says it would have a zero feet of crater on the sea floor. Maybe because of the angle of the impact. Uh, the impact would create a 112 foot tall tsunami. Um, your asteroid impacted the water at 5,006 miles per hour, and it's equivalent to 29 kilotons of TNT. It says, um, asteroid of this size happens on average about every nine years. And then we got a shock wave. I guess I can bring it out to see what the shock wave would be. Let me bring this out. Okay, there we go. Um, the shock wave. Um, 676 people would die from the shock wave. Anyone within 1,948 feet would likely receive lung damage. Anyone within 2,535 feet would likely have ruptured eardrums. Buildings with 0 0.85 miles would collapse. Homes within 1.1 mile would collapse. Let me bring this over. Um, peak wind velocity. Okay. Um, 4,947 people would die from the wind blast. Oh, let's close that out. Uh, wind within 1,314 feet. Uh, it would be faster than the storms on Jupiter. Homes within 2,145 feet would be completely leveled within 0 0.75 miles. It would feel like being inside an EF5 tornado. Nearly all trees within one and a half miles would be knocked down. All right, we'll do a stone asteroid. And let's see, we'll go back to Washington. Okay. Let me bring it over here. And just pick a spot. All right, right there, and we'll launch it. Airburst. Okay. Your asteroid blew up at 7.3 miles above the water. The explosion was equivalent to 17 kilotons of TNT. An impact of this hot size happens every five years so if it's an air burst yeah there'd be a lot of little particles 
um, that the asteroid hunters can go out and make a fortune on. Now you can go to the site, which is the virtual telescope.eu. And it says here that, um, the near earth asteroid 2320 BU will have an extremely close but safe encounter with us coming at least um, at less than 10 kilometers from the Earth's center. See, it's not the crust of the Earth, from the Earth's center. Oh, I have to refresh it. About 25% of the geostationary um, satellite distance. The Virtual Telescope Project will show it to you live. And you can go there. I don't know if they charge you for this or not. Uh, let me click on it and see what happens. Yeah. Where is it at right now? Oh, there it is right there. Oops, it can only get it so close to us. So get your hard hats out. Yeah, watch the skies. It's supposed to be um, for time. It will be at about 4.17 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or 21.17 GMT. 2,178 miles above the earth surface so what are your thoughts put those comments down below thank you very much for watching thank you for subscribing yeah i really appreciate it when you thumbs up my videos and you share my videos and i really appreciate those of you that have supported me on uh, you um, paypal and on my patreon account um, please stay safe and i'll talk to you later god bless y'all bye